before we start working in a project, let's let's set this to how we really want it. So what I'm going to do is let's see, let's go back to system settings. Okay, let's let's pretend we really want it to go into this test folder. Okay, and that's where we're going to keep everything. So we've done that. So let's go back here to the hard drive and this Fonica Pro Documents folder made in the very beginning. There's nothing in there, so let's just Command delete, throw that into the trash can so we don't get confused. So we know everything that Final Cut related for, for these purposes that we're showing today is going to go into this test folder. Okay, so, so that's cool. So we've got gone through user preferences, kind of have that how we want, gone through system settings, kind of told Final Cut where to put all this. Another interesting one here is minimum allowable free space. If you start really running out of space, which I don't recommend running with, you know, in filling up your disk all the way, this is a nice way. What Final Cut will do is tell you that you're basically running out of space. This is set to 2,047 megabytes, which equals, I think, about two gigabytes. Um, and so Final Cut will kind of stop working once you reach, you only have two gigs left, which is is kind of good because um, you really don't want to fill up your disk all the way. They start having errors and things like that. Um, let's go through the other tabs here. I don't really do anything. I actually don't touch these other tabs too much. Um, different people have different opinions about that, but I that's just how I have it. it. Seems to work for me. So let's hit OK. Easy setup. This is a, a control of how to set up your project. If you kind of, if you already know, like for example, oh, I'm going to be working in mini DV with mini DV footage. Well, you can just go ahead and set up your whole project, so you don't have to think too much about it. That means every new sequence will be created according to these parameters. So we could select, oh, NTSC, that's standard definition. Maybe all your footage is 2997, which is uh, the frame rate found on mini DV tapes, for example, and you can just use mini DV. Set that like that and hit setup. This window comes up again. Let's just hit continue. Let's just get rid of these. So let's just highlight those and delete. And let's do Apple and create a new sequence and let's just check what how this was if it really followed the easy setup or not. So let's double click that. Make sure your sequence is highlighted or this is highlighted and hit command zero to bring up your sequence settings. And you can kind of double check. Okay, 720 by 480, we know that's a standard definition. It's using uh, DV, DVC Pro NTSC as the uh, as the codec, as a, as a QuickTime compressor, and 2997, that looks all looks good. Or let's say we wanted to use an easy setup. We knew we are gonna be working with um, DVC Pro HD footage. And maybe that's 2398. We know we're, we're shooting at a, that kind of a frame rate. And maybe, uh, boy, uh, do we want 720? Let's say we actually are using 720, not the full 1080, but 720, 720p. We'll hit OK. Get another warning here. Hit Continue. Now this sequence will still be the old DV, Command 0. That's still at the old settings. But if we create a new sequence, Command N for new, and let's title this DVC Pro HD. Okay, now let's double click that, highlight it, Command Zero, and check it. And it does appear to be DVC Pro HD. They give you this funky frame size, but don't worry, that is just, uh, that's actually the real amount of pixels you're getting. Kind of a uh, funny thing about DVC Pro HD, okay. Anyway, this is just kind of an example of a, a basic setup in the very beginning of Final Cut Pro, which is what I like to do. So tune in next time, and we will uh, have more for you. Check out our webpage at www.bigpictureworkshops.net for more tutorials, more information. If, and if you're in the Seattle area, we have workshops uh, coming up in November and uh, on and on. So st stay tuned to that. We'll have a bunch of uh, very helpful workshops on Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, various other things. Thanks a lot.